Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or turn it with having. It's always amazing how many signs a person can get for their lifelines and their love lines. You see, if you're playing with God, you're praying every day for what you want. You're thanking God at the end of the night for the things that went right. You praise the Lord when you receive a gift that's unexpected, and you ask Him for your love and kindness to be protected. Sometimes people are gentle in their way. We used to call them gentle people or gentlemen. A gentleman would carry his jacket a certain way. A gentleman would open the door for just about anyone. A gentleman would wear his cowboy hat in a different way than a player or someone who wants to have a lot of corralling and, well, muscle galling. But what I'm talking about today is not rights. What I'm usually talking about is rights. What I'm talking about today is whether or not God has rights in your life. Because if God has rights in your life, then you recognize God as in charge of other people's life and right to life. And if you're listening to people, then you're paying attention to what they're doing in life, and you're not interfering in their life, you're not pissing on their life, you're not moving in on them so you can eavesdrop on their life, and you're walking away before you get pounded for your lie. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and there's always a marvelous asshole in a community who thinks he's going to do something to someone's life. In life, there are moments of time to speak the truth. And when a man has rights to his own body, his own grooming, his own life, his own clothing, then he has rights. But when someone in his extended family or some stranger in a community thinks they have the right to taint his clothing, cut his beard, harm him in some way that's incredibly inappropriate for his life, there's a problem in society. The problem in society is that we have predators of every variety who are the best liars ever. They prey into communities when they need something. They prey upon people. They get a lot of their time. They get a lot of their coins sometimes. Or they just get a lot of things done for them for free. But what they don't think about is what their rights are today in front of God's house in every way. A liar in a hood will always be that. People in the world go out in the world in a different way. Every human being has the right to choose their profession. Every human being has a right to do something in confession. But what we're talking about today is how do we help someone every day? How do we move someone in some way? And how do we get someone to acknowledge there is a God today? If I make silly rhymes just to fill in time, that's one thing. If I do it to make you listen and pay attention and think about your own life, that's another. A good pagan priest is always listening to people. But what he's defining, what he's discerning, what he's hearing may not be what you're actually learning from that interaction.